Hi everyone, it's Renee from Me, You, and the Chickens, and we're going to do a breed spotlight on our Buff Orpington flock. The Buff Orpington is a large bird with a sweet disposition. While all Orpingtons are said to be friendly and docile, it seems that the Buffs are even more so making them a great bird to add to your flock, especially if you are a beginner or have children that will be tending to the flock with you. The buff Orpington will start laying between 22 and 26 weeks of age. You will get between 200 and 260 beautiful large brown eggs a year from each hen, even in the winter months, making them a very reliable layer. Buff Orpingtons live somewhere between 8 to 10 years with their egg production pretty much coming to a halt by year 5. And up until year 5, they'll like start to decrease. Like so, the first and second years, that's going to be your best years. Uh, th the third year will start to decrease year 4 and 5 even, even more. The Buff Orpington is a dual purpose breed, meaning that it is used for both meat and eggs. However, it will take a lot longer for them to grow to processing size than the meat birds that are out there now. But if you don't mind the weight and would like to raise a flock that you will also be using to fill your freezer, then these birds would be a good fit for that as well. The roosters can get near 10 pounds and the hens close to 8 pounds. So pretty decent sized birds. The Buff Orpington is a hardy breed, being able to handle both heat and cold, which makes them a great choice as they can fit in just about anywhere. They are very easy to care for and don't require a lot of fuss or preparation as the seasons change. If you are looking for a good tempered sweet bird that is also a great egg layer, this may be the breed you're looking for. One other thing I would like to mention here is that the Buff Warpington is also a heritage breed. And that means that they are a traditional livestock breed that was raised by our forefathers. This is one of the breeds that were around long before industrial agriculture became so obsessed with mixing breeds to get the biggest, best layers they could. Here on our farm, we strongly believe in only raising heritage breeds, not only for their beauty, but for the simple fact that when you raise a heritage breed, you know exactly what you're going to get. And you can re reproduce that bird on your own. With high production and fast growing birds they are breeding now, they will not breed true. So you will be depending on the hatcheries to replace those birds each year which doesn't really line up with our goal of becoming more self-sufficient. So as a recap, the Buff Orpington is a large breed bird, a great egg layer, docile and friendly, great for beginners and children, both cold hardy and heat tolerant. The Buff Orpington is also a dual purpose heritage breed dating all the way back to 1902. I hope that this video helped you with picking out a breed or at least gaining some knowledge on this specific breed. Be sure if you like our content and the information that we share that you come on over and subscribe and like our video and, and even comment and tell us what your favorite breed is. We hope you all have a great night. Till next time, be safe.